Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the TWAB and I'm going to be doing separate videos for each of the points that DMG posted. So the first one we're going to be talking about is the rewards update to the Dreaming City and the Moon. Uh, the next one is going to be turning the, those tokens and then the next one is going to be the taking a past revenant. Uh, I think these are very important because I want to give my thoughts on each of them and I don't want to make a really long video about it because each of these are going to take a pretty big chunk of my time. So let's talk about the reward updates. So since the launch of Beyond Light, we've been collecting what feels like a metric ton of feedback on various Destiny systems. While we've shared some plans related to rewards, DDoS protection on consoles, crossplay and transmog, we have new details on rewards from two of our most, more recent destinations, the Moon and the Dreaming City. Rewards area lead Justin Dazette will be walking us through some changes in response to player feedback. Justin, last month, Assistant Game Director Joe Blackburn spoke about some changes we were making to gear in Season 13. In response to some feedback today, we're going to briefly chat about what some of these changes are as they relate to our back, our back catalog of expansions and reasoning behind them. So, first and foremost, reissued Dreaming City, Reverie, Dawn, and Moon Dream Bane armor. So we're getting the Reverie, Rever, uh, Dreaming City, Reverie, Dawn armor and the Moon Dream Bane armor back. Uh, okay. Then these will also drop with high stats when earned in Shattered Throne and Pit of Heresy. The final chest in Pit of Heresy will no longer drop a fully masterworked Dream Bane armor piece. Instead, the Dream Bane armor piece that drops will have 7 armor energy and is guaranteed to drop with at least a plus 16 in two different stats and higher stats overall. Dream Bane class item will not drop from this chest, which is great. So, basically, they're making, not only are they giving us more armor, they're making the dungeons actually viable places to farm for armor, which is great. I do miss doing Pit of Heresy, and Shattered Throne will actually be a viable option now, after so many, like, what is it, two years now? A year? I don't remember how long. So, this is a great change. Uh... We're, we're gonna we're gonna talk about a system that I think Bungie should introduce if they are sunsetting armor and weapons in a different video just because I feel like I should expand my thoughts more on that but essentially I think they should let us upgrade our existing armor pieces that like have been sunset into like this seasons so if you have for example a really god roll dream bane armor piece that you want you should be able to infuse that to the current system at least I think so so but we're going to talk about it more in depth in that video so the only thing that kind of sucks is that pit of heresy will no longer have a fully masterwork dream bane armor piece and i know a lot of people did pit of heresy because they were solo players and basically that's a really good way to farm armor pieces for essentially uh, material like you dismantle that and then you get what was it you get as much as a an armor piece that's already fully masterworked so you end up getting material and it's kind of unfortunate for the people who you know don't have a way to get more material pit of heresy was by far not the best way to get material but it was a good source for it as well so that does kind of suck i mean overall it, we should be getting a plus 16 and two different stats and higher stats overall but i've heard this before so i don't have that much faith so we'll see how that goes <laughs> reissued four weapons for dreaming city with new perk pools waking vigil sleepless vouchsafe and retold tale dreaming city weapons that drop in the shattered throne dungeon can roll with perks that are unavailable from drop okay okay see this is a great change this is cool uh Waking Vigil, an amazing hand cannon. Sleepless, a shitty rocket launcher. Vouchsafe, which if I remember correctly, is the scout rifle. And a retold tail, which is a shotgun, one of my favorite shotguns back in uh, Forsaken. And then Dreaming City, or I mean, I'm sorry, a Shattered Throne will actually give you rolls that are not available anywhere else. Which is, a dude, this is the way to do it. Dungeons should give you an experience and 
should reward you as such. It should give you stuff that you can only find in the dungeon. This is going to make me want to do the dungeons all the time now. And I can one-man them all. So for me, I'm just like immediately like, I'm going to do this every week now. This is giving me another reason to play because I love Waking Vigil, Vouchsafe, Retold Tale. And let's see. Reissued four weapons for the moon with new per perk pools. Permonition, Pit of Heresy only. Heretic, Blasphemer, and Apostate. So, what is it? Premonition is the... <clears throat> Premonition is the Pulse Rifle. Heretic is the Rocket Launch, if I remember correctly. Blasphemer is the Shotgun. And Apostate is the Sniper Rifle. Weapons that drop in the, in the Pit of Heresy dungeon can roll with perks that are unavailable from drops from other reward sources. Okay, so same thing. Uh... I'm not a big fan of this one, mostly because it's literally the only one I want is Premonition, because that's a primary. Blasphemer is cool and Apostate is cool. It's just that I have weapons that already do that job. Unless they drop with something really fucking good, I don't really care. And Heretic is a shitty rocket launcher anyway, so who gives a fuck? <sighs> Again, the Pit of Heresy only having perks for those weapons is awesome. I hope it's not something that sucks. I hope it's something really good. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they put, like, the raid uh, perks in those. I wouldn't be surprised, and I probably wouldn't mind, honestly. So, that'd be really cool. Expanding Lost Sector Legend and Master Rotation to four Moon Sectors. K the K1, basically, which is, I think, a smart idea. Uh, oh, man. Some of those are kind of fucking annoying. But, I think a lot of those are going to be a lot easier. Well... They're probably going to start putting in a lot of uh, champions, so I take that back. We are making these changes to help preserve the relevancy of the destinations, specifically some of the pinnacle end activity, some of the pinnacle end game activities that still exist there, to get more specific around the actual experience. Activities where reissues are acquired will be heavily weighted towards rewarding reissued gear over capped gear though the exact way wane and mechanism may differ for example in dreaming city if you already have obtained an infused infusion capped weapon it will not drop for you again while not every gear source or legendary reward will be kept up to date for the entire lifetime these destinations are available we do believe that there's high value in targeting some specific activity drops for continued relevancy to give you more options for where to spend as such as you seek to improve your arsenal so that's really it uh they show what we can earn which i will show right now i think this is a smart idea my only gripe with it is that like you shouldn't have sunset these places in the first place. It's re actually, I just realized the only thing that's not that's getting like re reissued is premonition. That fucking sucks, dude. Ah, uh, I was hoping we would have all of the moon weapons because all of the moon weapons are actual fire, bro. It would have been dope to have another 120 because uh, the hand cannon from the moon is a 120. The grenade launcher is great. Dude, this sucks. Oh, man. I mean, oh, well, whatever. At least we're getting something, but fuck, dude. Like, this would, this would have been such a win if they're like, yeah, all the moon weapons are back. Like, y'all can... But that's the thing. Like, that's my issue with it. It's like, why sunset it when... This is, like, this is the problem with sunsetting. At least the way that Bungie did it. I think Bungie did it way too hard. Uh, to the point where, like, everything felt useless, it's still gonna feel useless. Don't get me wrong, like, <laughs> these changes are great, but it's still gonna feel useless at the end because so you already have some of these roles. What sucks is, like, Waking Vigil is now... It's, it's a one... Or it's a 140 now, but... It's still probably gonna be really good. The only issue is if it, if it rolls with anything good. Because if it rolls with shitty perks, it's going to kill the gun. It's like the way I remember it, it's going to be like, wow, like you are a shadow of your former self. Same thing with uh, Retold Tail. Retold Tail is an amazing shotgun. And 
in this sandbox i don't think it's that good so uh, i'm probably gonna hate it uh, to be quite honest the only weapons i'm excited for is like maybe <sighs> waking vigil honestly and even then i don't know if it's gonna be good or not because if they give us these weapons and they're actually dog shit, I'm going to be mad. I, again, if they really wanted to like really wow us and be like, all right, guys, like we fucked up. This is an apology. Give us all the moon weapons back with the uh, nightmare weapons as well. And for the moon, or not the moon, for Wake, um, Dreaming City, I don't, was there more weapons in this? Well, I know there, there is uh, the... The strike specific one, the the scout rifle. That one was no, not not the scout rifle. The uh, pulse rifle for Dreaming City. That one was really good. Would have been great to see that back and actually just given to us in the per in the loot pool, because that that was a monster with the, the perks that you can get on it. But I don't remember if there's anything else. Was there a sniper? Yeah, there was a sniper rifle. So like we didn't even get all of the Dreaming City weapons. We just got like four. Like, this is my issue. It's like, it feels like they're just giving us breadcrumbs and me like, oh, here, be happy with that. I'm, again, I love that they're giving back relevancy to the dungeons, but it just feels half-assed in my opinion. Like, we should have seen all of the weapons from Dreaming City. We should have seen all of the weapons from the moon because you people still have to pay for these DLCs and you're just, oh, we, just, we gave you four weapons each. And at least the armor is back, so be happy with that. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm, like I said, I love that they're giving rele relevancy back to the dungeons, but it just feels half-assed. Give us all the weapons. Give us all of the weapons from the moon. The moon had a lot of bangers. Uh, Dreaming City had a lot of bangers. And this just feels half-assed to me. Like, because you got to remember, they're giving us four weapons from each expansion. And... Forsaken had a fuck ton of weapons, not just the Dreaming City weapons. Uh, the Moon didn't have that many weapons, so it would have been nice to see at least all of the Moon weapons come back. But we're still, we're not that much better off. At least, like, yeah, at least we're getting our, our like, th three armor sets back. Technically, two if you only play one, like one character. You're only getting two armor sets back, which. The, which still sucks because you can't upgrade your like let's say you had the reverie dawn armor set or the moon armor set and you had a really good roll on one you can't upgrade it you can't like exchange something to make it like it, i just <sighs> bungie i'm happy you did this but i'm sad that it feels half-assed because i would have just made the whole the whole expansion like all right well Fair. Forsaken's massive. So I would have been like, all the Dreaming City weapons that you could get, like the sniper rifle, the pulse rifle. I know I'm missing another one. I, I know I'm missing another one. All of that shit, just immediately you have it now. Like, you can get it wherever. Or if you want to keep it, keep it to how it used to be, you can get it where they used to be, where you, you could get it beforehand. The moon weapons should have literally been, like, all the moon weapons should have been here. Because we have literal bounties for them. Like, that's literal content we could be doing. Now, granted, I know a lot of people are like, yeah, but it's bounties. Like, I'm sick and tired of bounties. Sure, I get that. But it's for a weapon. And for me, at least, I would for sure be farming the 120 hand cannon. I would for sure be doing the shotgun. Because the shotgun actually rolls with 1-2 punch. At least it used to. And it was a primary, so that would be fucking fire. I <clears throat> I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll link there in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.